What's up developers and problem solvers, Rod Chicken in, want to bring you guys another video today. And today we're going to talk about why you would never make your $76,000 a year salary as a software developer. It saddens me to see that a lot of developers are working hard, doing projects, and really trying to put themselves in a position to win, and still making thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year with experience. That's just crazy to me, guys. I live in Mississippi, and it's about the lowest cost of living city around when it comes to salary. And we still can command a six-figure salary if you are worth it, even in Mississippi, guys. So really nobody have any excuses, unless you're in these three situations I'm gonna discuss, and I highly suggest you guys to leave these situations. So let me tell you a little story before I get started. Well, I, I can remember when I first made seventy five thousand dollars. It, it was the it was the happiest day, one of the happiest days in my life in my career, and uh, it was shocking. I was still shocked when I got it, when they say yes to my offer, and um, it, it made me shake to let me know, hey, I have a future as an IT professional, as a developer, and it really kind of set the tone for me. And I was actually in my 20s, guys. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's not an excuse if you age or whatever that may be. If you provide the value, it's gonna really put you in a position to win. So, when I first started, I, I, I think uh, when I first started in software as an intern, um, back in the day, ooh, 2008, as a IT technician, I think I was making, ooh, as a co-op, I was making about $35,000 a year. This is an actual help desk, and this was back in 2008, and um, did that for a while. Everything was good. Um, end up leaving and coming back to that specific job and then put me in a position so that I can get a uh, full-time job there. I think I was making close to 40 or somewhere in there. And then I actually start doing software development or actually on a software team, not necessarily a, uh, a software developer, but I was more of a dev specialist or whatever you want to call it. I think that bumped me up to about 45, um, somewhere in there, close to 50. And um, I stayed at around 50 for a long time, guys. And um, I think what happened during that time, I was comfortable. I didn't necessarily want to move because I made, that was the most money I ever made. Granted, I'm in Mississippi, single, no kids, no nothing. And um, I was happy. I think once I got to about $52,000, $53,000 a year, that was like my dream salary, guys. <laughs> because I always, uh, as a kid, I always like, man, if I can make a thousand dollars a week, I'll be rich. <laughs> so mentally in my head, I was just kind of satisfied. And I actually stayed there for about one or two years without even asking for a boost and raise or anything like that. Um, after a couple of uh, cost of living raises and things like that, um, kind of got me around that, um, 53 54 range and that's when things kind of stopped for me because my skills I was comfortable I didn't want to really take skills to the next level and I just saw myself as a developer and that was my main problem right there I just saw myself as a software developer who wrote code and I stayed at that salary because that's what the mindset it wasn't until I start looking at other people's salary and what people was making, and I, you see the senses where they say software developers are making hundred thousand dollars a year, and I just like man, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true, until I found out one of my buddies actually was making really good money <laughs> doing this, and I like screw this, I need to get money. So uh, what happened was. I ended up uh, saying, okay, I know they're not going to bump me from um, 60, what I was making at the time, like 53 to 100. I knew that wasn't going to happen. I actually like where I work and um, didn't have any intentions to leave. But I was like, I, I, did, I gotta at least have 75. You know, that's where everybody, I, I read these articles, like once you make 75 or around 75, it doesn't make any, but it don't make any difference in taxes or whatever. So that's the number I came up with. And uh, I said, I'm gonna get 75, I'm leaving. <laughs> so what my plan was, I was gonna just build my resume up um, build my uh, projects up for over the next probably three months so I can when I come ask for this I'll have a list of projects that I did coding all that stuff like that and in addition to that I actually start applying for other jobs too so just in case they said no 
um, I can actually go to another job. And even though what I would do different this time, and I actually did it, um, not necessarily intending to leave. I just wanted to test the market out in my interview skills. But um, I suggest you guys to go apply for other places just for networking and just to kind of see what the market's like and all that stuff. At the very minimum, do networking with some of the hiring managers. So if you need another job, it'll be right there for you. But what I end up doing, guys, and um, uh, I kind of talk about this in my seven step guide. So let me plug this, by the way. <laughs> seven step guide below. Um, I can't cover everything in this video, but it's seven steps on how to start your software development career, really put you in a position to win. So links are in the description box. And it also give you access to our community where I uh, prioritize your questions, ask um, that you guys ask. And we're gonna start some kind of mentoring here pretty soon, still working out the logistics on that. But sign up now and um, I'll be giving you details via email. So links are below. So back to the store. So um, I doing my three months of projects. I'm doing that pretty good. Things are working out, and I'm um, applying for a job. So I just got this local hospital that I was going to apply to to see if I can get that number that I was looking for. So um, actually got the number that I was looking for from the hospital, and um, at that point I was kind of a little worried because this is actually before I went to <laughs> the other company. Uh, the company that I was at, I actually tried it out and um, went through that resume process and they loved it. They wanted me. They were going to hire me as a developer and going to be paying me my 75 k Yay! And um, I think they was actually still lowballing me, but I didn't care at the time. <laughs> I was going to get a 25%. A, a what's that? That's more than 25%. That's over a 50% raise. So um, I didn't care. I was just happy. And um, I ended up tell, telling them, hey, I need two weeks. I need to go uh, do my two-week notice. Everything's good. Went back to the other employer. Didn't tell them about the actual offer right then, but I did ask for a raise. And I was like, hey, I've been doing this, showing that, whatever. My boss at the time said, hey, I got you know to go through, do my due diligence and all that. And um, I was like, okay, great. Um, unfortunately, the next day I went in and told them about the job offer I got so that it wouldn't, I, I didn't necessarily pressure him the day that I told him, but <laughs> I wanted to nudge him a little bit to say, hey, I got this offer. Hey, could you please expedite it? At least let me know, is there a date that I can get this money so I can let the other people know? He's like, great. It didn't take no time. Um, within, I think like three, three days or so, I think I, told him that Wednesday, by that next Monday, he was like, oh yeah, we're going to be able to do it. Boom, 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 bam, 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 no problem whatsoever. Moral of the story, guys, if I would have went in there with just my current projects that I've done, I wouldn't have got that offer because I didn't demonstrate how much value I was providing to the company. The key word is value, not code, not writing code, but value. Projects, how much time I saved the company on automating tasks, make processes and workflow more efficient, really build the morale of the team because we didn't have to do the repetitive tasks, even in each department, had relationships, be able to communicate. All this stuff I communicated when I went into that interview, when I went into my boss, and it wasn't just me talking, it was my projects that actually kind of put things in a business ROI perspective. You guys will never, ever, ever make that 75K because you're not doing that. You're going in saying I need a raise um, because I write a lot of code and they're like, screw that, I can go find a program on Upwork and I can pay them $10 an hour and they can work, for, they, they're cold and I don't have to worry about them leaving. You have to differentiate yourself, guys. As a junior developer, you're gonna always be lowballed, guys. These small non-software companies, leave them. They're not gonna pay you $100,000. Yes, they're great for getting experience. If you can't get any job nowhere else, you get that on your resume, you get you up to either a mid-sized company or a smaller software company. They tend to be able to have the budget to pay you the type of money that's gonna allow you to make the competitive and a marketable software development salary, guys. You have to work on projects with bigger impact. If not, you're gonna get screwed. So guys, 
Let's get your projects and on your portfolio ready so that you can make that uh, at least $75,000 salary. I think $75,000, 80, 82 is a good number. If you really like the company, what you work for, your job is not that hard, you're in a smaller city, everything's good. If you're in a larger city, <laughs> no, you, you need over 100. You probably need 120, 150. Um, city like uh, Mississippi, like I'm at now, you get $100,000, you're good. You know, you get 98, 7, 90. I would say, as a senior developer, look, I need to be more clarified. I need to clarify this. Um, as a as a regular developer with three to five, six year experience, three to five year experience, about 75 is good. Um, anything beyond that, um, about 9,500, 110, somewhere in there. In a, a, a small a small town or a small city or no, nowhere like Washington or uh, New York or LA or Chicago, any of those bigger cities, 150 plus <laughs> at least at the very minimum we gotta be 125 it got to be that even georgia i wouldn't go if i worked in georgia i would have to command at least 120 before i look at anything over here somewhere in mississippi you can get away with a hundred thousand dollars pretty easy but the point i'm trying to make is guys you would never even make 75 if you don't present your portfolio so like i was saying guys like subscribe to the content if you have any questions or you want to join the digilink community i have links in the description box to my seven step guide go ahead and sign up guys and you can get access to our community and start asking questions i want to review those resumes i want to really put you in position so that you can get that job you want live the lifestyle you want really put yourself in a position to win like subscribe to the content if you have additional questions comment below i'll see you guys in the next video peace